second guy. What do you think about that second period? It was pretty eventful compared to the first. Totally eventful. We had guys at home scoring goals, and we are up 5-1, to one, and they're garbage goals. Shouldn't have really counted. There was nobody home in our net. So did you whip the chicken out at all? We swung the chickens like there is no tomorrow. How we doing, Dashers Nation? We had a wonderful week. We started with seven these nights. What a fun night. That we played Berlin. I dressed up. I looked ridiculous. So I'm here with Mike and Mike. So Mike, how do you like the game so far? That second period was pretty exciting. Second period's been great after an uneventful first period. Five goals, man. It's great. So as you guys know, tonight is 70s night, and I'm a little disappointed you didn't dress up for it at all. You know, I, 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 I forgot, basically. I you didn't forgot. even do your hair or anything? No. So where'd you find this? Is it something you had to go out and get, or did you just have it laying around? Uh, I bought these about a year ago in like a little thrift store, and this one I actually stole from my mom's like little costume bin, so it's pretty easy to put together. Does she know you took it, or did you take it on the DL? I took it on the DL, but now she knows. What happened in that game? That game, we ended up winning that game 6-3. to three. It was 6-3. to three. They scored three goals, two of which were on the power play. Yeah. There was a lot of penalties in this game on both sides. Things got started in the second period. It didn't stop as Daniel Turgeon begins the marathon of goals. Keeping the momentum going was our newest dasher, Marcus Mitchell. We have some new dashers. We do. We have a good handful of new dashers. Two of whom being Marcus Mitchell and Derek Schwartz. Both of which got on the scoreboard tonight. I mean, two new dashers, you got a goal from each of them in the new game. I mean, yeah, you can't get a better welcome. Next, the dasher score thanks to the incredible positioning from AJ Tesserero. Just when Justin Brazen seems to lose it, AJ buckets the puck in the net. In fact, Tesserero was all over the board, scoring yet again just a few minutes later. AJ Tesserero! Next play, AJ gives a routine pass to Ray Tremblay, and he says, why not? Third period, Dashers lead 5-3. Harrison rushes out the wing, but it's deflected. The scrum would find its way out to Brent Clark, who was in perfect position for the goal. Your Dashers took the Berlin River Drivers 6-3. The Dashers had a good time on the ice, but they also had a really good time the next night at Fat Man. I unfortunately couldn't be there, but I heard my partner in crime over here was. Oh yeah, oh, I was there. I was, was uh, it? it was so much fun. You know, I, I, I do karaoke very often, so to be able to do it with the dashes was a lot more fun. Go, Johnny, go, go. Go, Johnny, go, go. And I also but, heard one of our players got on stage too yeah. and didn't sing. Tergion got to play the drums. He got to play the drums, a little Inter Sandman action. Brock Einerson got up there. He sang Call Me Maybe, which was funny. It was. Terry's in the background <laughs> having a good time. So, Terry, we heard you sang too at the oh, Batman. Yeah. I sang. What'd, so you, what'd you, sing? you sing? Last Kiss by Dickie Lee. You want to give us a little. A little bit of it give now. A little, give us a little give last us a kiss. Couple notes. <laughs> Just a last kiss for the fans. <laughs> we were out on a date in my daddy's car. We hadn't driven very far. Actually, what he sang was Pearl Jam. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we also got to go on a little road trip. We don't yeah. do this very often, but the Dash is all access group. Got to go to Dayton. It was really nice to just kind of see how another team does it. We were invited to go up to the press box to meet Lee Moen, the announcer. He announces for the live broadcast, and he actually gave us a little spot on the second intermission. And we have a special interview with you, the Dashers All Access team. Hi, Brittany. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Dayton. Um, Thank you. Thanks for having us here. It's a really great facility. We're having a good time so far. What's been the buzz like at the David S. Palmer Arena? Is it building up for the Dasher faithful? The fan base is growing. People are getting super excited. The team has been doing very well this season, and especially at home. We have a pretty good record at home. How did that, how did that game end? We're on the losing side of a 7-5 score, so 
well, with the way they're playing with their new coach, a potential playoff opponent. Yeah. The Dayton Demolition are now being coached by Joe Pace Sr. A lot of you Dashers fans will remember Joe Pace Jr. used to play for us. His dad, now coaching Dayton. Yes. Uh, from what I've seen and from what has happened to us the last two games, he's doing a really good job of turning that team around. Done here with Derek Short, so why aren't you in tonight? Uh, I have a mild concussion I got last night against Dayton. All right, so you played Dayton last night. How do you think the team's doing tonight against them? Better, worse, what would you say? Uh, we're doing better. We're playing good. We've got to keep doing the little things right. Uh, keep getting pucks on net. Keep hitting. So what are the other little things you think we need to keep doing right that we didn't do last night? Uh, we just got to keep battling, going to the dirty spots on the ice, go to, uh, go to the net hard, get pucks on net. So we just caught you coming out of the locker room. What was the atmosphere like in there? Uh, the boys are fired up. We're ready to go. We're going to come out this uh, last period and go hard. Tonight we lost 5-2. Had a couple of the late, late second goals. It's unfortunate. It happens sometimes. Yeah, but I don't on know a good what else note, to say about it. We had a record-breaking attendance with 2,200 people here, which is just shy of selling out, too. We are. We were just shy of selling out. That is our. That is this year's. That is this year's uh, record. And I hope it keeps going. I really do. I, I mean, do it's, too. And I hope the team kind of gives the people something to see. Like I said, it's a record breaking for this year. So I hope the guys continue to pick up the pieces and keep going. Well, that's going to do it for another edition of Dash's All Access. I've been your host, Aaron Barton. The next time we see you, Thursday, we've got a game February 11th. It's against Port Huron. We got five in a row against Port Huron. We're in first. They're in second. Hopefully we can keep this going. I know we've lost two in a row. Let's get the momentum back. We can get it going. We can stay in first place. Hopefully we beat Port Huron. You have to come out Thursday to find out. For Dash's All Access, I'm Aaron Martin, and we'll see you later. You ever just think about things, you know, like the future and whatnot? I mean, everybody does, but what specifically? You know, like important things, like the playoffs. Stuff like that. Playoffs. I mean, you think I it's can... going to be Danbury first round, or do you think we're going to get Port Huron? Ah, I think the way things are going, I think it'd be Port Huron, yeah? I hope so. I know. What do, you, do you have any thoughts about tonight's game? Nah. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. Yeah, it would. All right, all right, all right. Hot pepper.